I'm John Lorio. We came into this space and it was a simple office space. It had a flat eight foot T-bar ceiling, sheet rock walls. There was also a office over here and a single bathroom. So what we wanted to do was, this is working for a client who's gonna have a whiskey tasting bar in here. And we wanted to incorporate some of the history of Livermore. We turned it into a bar, a prohibition type bar. We built this brick wall, it's made out of thin brick. It's to look like it's beat up a bit and it's old. So it gives it the look of the wall's been here since the 1800s. We also incorporated this really cool zinc top bar. And so we're gonna illuminate the top of the bar and have a cascade of light effect that comes all the way down. Welcome to Sidewinder. So we're giving you the feeling that this is a speakeasy, a warehouse that was converted over to a speakeasy bar. We have small seating areas. We wanted to give the feeling that this was uh, like the train station in Livermore. This is what it would feel like. And you would have tables, you could sit and play cards and wait for your train and, and kind of a saloon atmosphere. Things like the floor, we gave it an industrial looking wood toned floor. We have funny signs on a pipeline that we had to leave in the space. And it, it's a whiskey pipeline. One of the things that we had here was uh, we had to keep the insulation on the ceiling uh, because this is an actually a storage facility for wine and whiskey. So it has to be maintained at 70 degrees year round. So we had to insulate it. I mean, we couldn't paint the silver insulation that was already here. So I developed it using sunscreen material that I could source eight feet wide by 100 feet long. And we ran that, it like carpeting, but on the ceiling and we stapled it up and black so with the downward lights you won't be able to see the insulation or the ceiling and it has a nice effect of dampening sound in here as well and then we have a whiskey still in the back on wine barrels in the back we got these two windows from an old warehouse in San Jose and we installed them in and incorporated them into the wall. We were going to have whiskey barrels behind it, backlit, so that you can see the trademarks on the end of the whiskey barrels. This is a real functioning still from Spain, and it does it in the old world style. So you're getting the real taste from the copper that's being used and the residue of the material. And that helps with whiskeys. Whiskeys are something that you want the flavors to stay in there. You don't filter them out. This is a functioning still. It's also a beautiful piece of artwork. One of the things we installed to give really good quality water that has no taste to it so that you're really tasting the drinks that you're making is a water softener to take the calcium out of the water and then reverse osmosis system. This is the smallest industrial reverse osmosis system you can put in. Well, we're having fun trying some new finishing techniques. Actually, there's uh, some steel that we are adding a rust patina to it, and we are putting that in the bathrooms. They give the bathrooms kind of a factory bathroom look. So one of the things we wanted to create was little areas for people to gather in, and we designed and decorated these areas so that we have a different feeling in each area that you go in. So this is a little greeting, almost like someone's home, that you would have a parlor setting. These are real antiques. This is real wallpaper that I designed from the 1800s, and it has pineapples in it. They symbolize welcome to my home. So that's why we've put pineapples throughout here. So this is what we put together, a beautiful atmosphere to make it feel like we transport you back to Livermore of the 1800s. And you can come in and feel yourself sitting next to some lady waiting for the train station or a gentleman in a top hat. And this is what it would be like in Livermore in the 1800s.